Hello everyone, welcome to another New Binds Twisted Boat episode and I hope you're all well. The last episode, number 31, was a very successful one in terms of obtaining some new drops in both the account and in the series. The Basilisk Jewel was the big drop of the episode and that one came after almost 2,700 Basilisk Knight kills. It was a snipe to the final God Sword Hilt in the form of the Armadillo Hilt from Kriara. The Jar of Swamp from Zorot bringing our Jar collection to 4 now. Finally, a few rounds of Temporos gave us the Fish Barrel as our first proper unique there, and yes, in this episode, it is back to Hydra for another long task, looking for the Hydra Leather and Hydra Tail, and also some Zora as our main bosses, along with the Skilling and Master Clues, and a bit about raids as well towards the end, so sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, Black Slayer Helmet, it has been an honour the last uh, couple of years you've served, I mean, it is time for a change. Uh, the Abyssal Head is going to go for the Red Slayer Helm, so you have a ton of points to spend. thought I might just uh, make that change and you never know, might get some uh, red text on this task too in the form of a uh, pet, or you never know, but we'll drop Hydra Leather, I'd also take that. Okay, I've noticed I pretty much just uh, go through all the trips and don't really show any of the loot, so I will just show you uh, how profitable this boss is uh, once again, even if you uh, don't get any uniques at all. We're quite dry at the moment, to be honest. Um, just a Hydra's Isle in the last couple of videos, I think, and that was quite a while ago as well. So yeah, first trip, what have we got? And Better empty that. 857k there. You know what? Let's just make this a bit easier. And get rid of anything. They don't really have much. So, yeah, 2.8 mil. Probably just a bit less than that for the first trip. One thousand four hundred kill count was the golden number, like that last unique at Zara. The Hydra Tail obtained. Uh, finally, I will say in that case, yes, uh, a one in five thirteen drop. That is. We often say in cricket that uh, with one it comes two, and unfortunately, it was the wrong one here. Is the second Hydra Tail of the trip after yes, going fourteen hundred without one. Alrighty, that trip was about uh, 44 kills, I think, and I forgot to teleport, so I had to do the last kill with about uh, 25 prayer points. That wasn't too fun, so 2.59 in the end, but yes, the two Hydra Tails. Now, the first one, Toast Seven, I, I got pretty excited that, actually. I'm probably the only main account to actually get excited at that drop, and probably Irons as well, to be honest. But uh, yeah, very long trip, and I think that probably will do for tonight, but uh, we'll return tomorrow with just the Hydra Leather now to uh, obtain. and got a couple of Master Clues to do now, so hopefully get uh, a couple of decent rewards from them uh, on top of that uh, Hydra Tail. Oh, and uh, 4 mil for that trip. The Hydra Tail not really worth much yourself, just at 79k, but a couple of Onyx Bolt drops there, so yeah, 683k just from those. Level 95 Hunter, all from birdhouses, so yes, I haven't trained any of it at all, and it's uh, made me quite a bit of cash too, so I'll see you in a few months for level 99. First Master Clue of the video, coming up on 200 overall now. And we've got a couple of Magic Seeds and a Not Else, so yeah, 379k. Okay, this is going to be Master Clue 198. Well, 129k, that's almost as bad as the one in the last episode. Uh, it's not going very well at the moment with these old masters, but uh, yeah, got to keep going. Okay, first trip of the day, 25 kills. And 3.1 mil, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, a little milestone here, 1,500 kill counts of the Alchemical Hydra, so almost three times the rate of the leather now. Second trip down of the night, uh, 34 kills that time. And 3.7 more to show for Anna Brimstone Key, not too bad. Going to move on and do a bit of Zora to finish the night. Well, literally just as I was uh, doing that price check, a uh, shooting star landed here. So, yeah, it looks like we've got our first, um, whatever this stuff is, Stardust of the account. I can actually remember doing these things back in um, older RuneScape. And I was at Evil Trees as well, I never really cared too much about them. But, um, why is this guy trying to use tick manipulation? Interesting. <laughs> yes, that guy, yeah, he looks very prepared, and I think most of the people are probably very prepared and knew this was going to land here. But yeah, just uh, luck on my behalf. Alright, shooting star over at last. Got 276 star last year. That, that went on for quite a while, to be honest, but it's a pretty AFK. As well as 1500 Hydra, another milestone at Zora, that is 1500 KC here. Little medium and easy clue. A couple of uniques from the medium one. And a unique from the easy one too. And a big swordfish, yes, 1 in 2,500 chance. That is as close as we've got to the uh, fishing pet so far, I'd say. 
Speak of the devil, though, yes, the very next day, the next morning after I got that big swordfish, it was a sign, wasn't it? Uh, the fishing pet obtained at the Karam ones. So, yes, it was only a matter of time, I thought, this one had been uh, AFKing these a lot, and the fish barrel just uh, makes these so nice, so doable. We can do two inventories at once, and it's just so much AFK time. So, yeah, I was able to get uh, the rest of my dissertation done and just uh, AFK my way towards this. This is, yeah, pet number 11. I'll uh, speak a bit more about it in the next clip and uh, show you all the loot from uh, all the methods we've been doing to uh, obtaining this. And, and yes, it's isn't the most attractive pet, I will admit. It's like it's a bit like the, the rock golem in terms of um yeah, attractiveness. Well, in fairness, it only took a few days of uh, AFK and Karen ones after I got that uh, fishing barrel to obtain this pet. Then there's another one on the account, and yeah, got the big swordfish last night, and then the heron pet this morning at uh, last. So yeah, let's have a look at the total loot, I guess, from the heron pet grind. Okay, note all oh, placeholders. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Forty-four thousand Karen ones in the end. And yep, yep. And a few Solar scales as well, though I've probably used a lot of them, so they probably won't exactly count towards the profit. Is that everything? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. 53 mil, okay, that's uh, pretty good. 19.9 mil from Anglerfish, 17.8 uh, mil in total from those Karen ones, 400 GP each looking like, and uh, the rest just contributing a small amount. And of course, the 6.2 mil from the Onyx Bolts, so yes, that is. Uh, that's, that's pet number 11 on the account. So in terms of XP then, 15.6 mil. That was probably quite close to the rate, I think, in terms of the methods I did. For Karen ones itself, um, I would recommend to do them if you are going for the pet. Obviously, I just got the pets, I'm a bit biased, but um, uh, in terms of the catch rate there, it's like 800 an hour, and the base chance is about 170k. So yeah, over time, that works out to just over sort of 200 hours, I think, to, to hit the rate there. So. Yeah, very pleased about that. Nice to get that one knocked out of the way. Won't be doing any more fishing other than Tempros. I will be recolouring this thing. So some of this episode, I think, will include a fair bit of loot from uh, Tempros to get it to that uh, light kind of blue colour. But uh, anyway, let's uh, ensure it as usual. Um, pick him up. And use on Probita. Yep, I'll ensure that. And oh, not walk. And there we go. 11 pets on the account. And one, two, three, four skilling pets now. Okay, that's uh, another little session of mole at 88 kills, bringing our total kill count now to 2,475. So 525 away from that 3,000 mark, or the, the drop rate of the pet, but uh, we're a few thousand away from the drop rate of the curve bone. We've had a few of them, so I uh, expect a few surprises in uh, the next few. But uh, yeah, good money is always here. Uh, it's nice to see those come up on the floor as blue techs now when I get through of them. Yes, so 6.4k each. Uh, yeah, almost, uh, if we had this stuff as well, might get up to 2 mil for that little session. Yeah, not bad at all. 2.007 mil for that uh, tiny session, and I'm sure that'll go towards some of our death fees for our raids when we uh, try them out soon. This is a reminder of why you don't uh, take any chances at um, Zora, because if it's, uh, if you've got 39 HP, it will hit a 39. So, yeah, it's a good job we uh, didn't get the Serpentine Visage there, otherwise I uh, wouldn't have counted that one. Back at Hydra, hoping for some of the uh, same RNG we got with uh, the fishing already this episode. And that was the second Hydra's Fang, the uh, second piece of my second Brimstone Ring. Yes, a lot of uh, seconds there. And Dragonfruit Tree Seeds too, not bad. Yeah, excuse all the alcohols on the floor. And then that was the third piece of the ring and the second ring completed overall. So, yeah, pretty good Hydra Task 4 drops, definitely. And that was the last kill of 183, yeah, very long task, took me a few days to complete that one. Jump for joy, but uh, no, rune square shield, um, sums up uh, how I attempt to get the uh, hydro levers going. That was a pretty long task in the end, 183, 209k Slarex, we just check the old Slarex, 31.7 mil, imagine um, a ton of that, well over 1.5 mil of that is just uh, from Hydra alone. Good task actually, two tails and two ring pieces and the heads as well, so the most drops I've seen in any Hydra task, but unfortunately still missing that set uh, leather, so we'll be staying at Konar for now. And of course the second brimstone ring of the account, so we were pretty dry on these actually, so nice to get them both within uh, the same task. And how much is this thing worth still? 2.7 mil, right? so it sort of retain its value, not crashing quite as much as uh, the rest of the PVM gear. Got myself a mole slayer task from Kona, coming up with the goods. That's at 2500kc for the Dragonstone. 
Now we're done with the fishing pet, that's three of the four AFK skilling pets obtained. So mining from Amethyst, uh, woodcutting the beaver from a magic tree about five years ago, and then the heron from a Karen ones in this episode. So just the rift guardian remains. The drop rate here isn't very good to be honest, it's like 19 million XP or something. And yeah, as you can see, we're not very close to that uh, at the moment, but uh, yeah, should make a decent amount of money in the blood runes and can also use them on a sanguinesti staff or even scythe in the future and just for general magic training anyway. So yeah, not really too bothered about the pet, just happy to sit here in AFK during the day. Get other stuff done and yeah, build up a decent supply of uh, blood runes on the side. Finally, I did try out the Theatre of Blood properly for the first time and went with some fellow learners from the clan and with one more experienced player. I didn't go too bad in fairness and on one of the runs we did manage to get to Verzik Phase 2 and I was deathless after the till being forced to solo the boss so on my part that was a better performance than uh, previously. Yes, it's going to be the start of what it says, a fairly steep learning curve in the theatre. I found it pretty difficult so far. But yes, I'm certainly ready for it and have that prestigious purple chest uh, in sight. A fairly productive episode on the whole, one of the final uniques obtained from the Alchemical Hydra and that was the Hydra Tail on 1400 kill count exactly. Uh, four drops in total from Hydra in this video which is a lot more than we're used to on this account. Uh, the other big drop was the 11th pet of the account and the 8th one in this series, can't believe that. Uh, the Heron, the fishing pet, coming at 15.6 million XP from the Karen ones and that now also takes the skilling pet tally to 4 out of 7. Elsewhere, a few milestones to talk about being 1500 Hydra and Zora kill count and 2500 Giant Mole kill count. There's a few things I would like to work on in the next episode. We'll be heading to Temporos, the fishing boss, to recolor the Heron pet obtained in this episode. Uh, that shouldn't take me too long, and I'll see if I can get any of the other uniques on the way to that, so you never know. Tiny Temper pets. I still need to do some more corrupted gauntlet runs to get to 10 kill counts and get myself on the high scores, though I do already have the unique, which was the Crystal Armor Seed a few episodes ago. Uh, there's no Hydra break this time, and I have another task currently, so we'll be going straight back there for the final unique, being the Hydra Leather. I have to say, it does sort of feel better now that we've only got one drop and you know as soon as we see that orange text on the ground provided it's not dragon knives hydra will be done uh, with skilling it'll be mostly room crafting and some pyramid plunder with the occasional agility session here and there in terms of raids i spent a fair bit of time whilst afking those skills watching guides and making notes on both the chambers of zeric and the theater of blood i gave theater try at the end they saw with my pv ability and all the hydra recently well the counting to three let's say i think the brain's going to need some proper waking up but i'm uh, feeling good about the theater to be honest I think I'll enjoy the learning process anyway, even if it's a bit funny, and even if it does take a while to get uh, one kill count. As for the chambers, I'll just mention I do have a few team raids under my belt already, so I have a rough idea of how the on fight works and what the rooms are like. Uh, most of those were done before I bought the Twister Burning, which was uh, quite a while ago, so uh, going to be pretty rusty when I do go back to it. Uh, I'll probably do a mixture of trios, duos, and even some attempted solos in our quest to obtain that uh, purple from either the theatre or the chambers. Thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next video.